Hey everyone, I'm TH Pine and welcome to Pine's Primate Perception. Today I'm gonna share my very first experience with Farabel. So this game released on the 14th of October and I think if I remember correctly it is an RPG that starts at the end and then goes backwards towards the start. Which sounds interesting, so let's give it a shot, shall we? It's so let's so let's start with taking a look at the option menu. It's a Unity game, so there was a pre-game launcher with resolution options, window and full screen mode, no borderless window mode though, and um, pre graphical pre graphics presets as usual. Uh, let's take a look at the in-game option menu. We have separate sound sliders, that's good. Camera options, okay, you can turn off shake and blur, that's cool. Camera follows AI, I guess I'm I'm not sure what that is about. We're gonna see reset all options, language, German, uh, English and fr French, okay, frame rate. We cannot uncap it, but we can choose between 60 and 30, so that's good. Accelerated enemy moves, red highlight for AI units, okay, counselor, not sure what that is. Shortcuts, well, we cannot rebind them, okay. Tab, select the next unit space, center the camera, enter and to turn. Okay, let's start the tutorial and take a look, shall we? Welcome to Farabel Tutorial. I am your counselor. Let me guide you through the perilous kingdom of Farabel. And teach you the basics of the game in a few minutes. Let's start with the camera. Oh god, it's gonna be super basic tutorial once again. Uh, yeah, edges on screen. Okay, uh, I have to correct myself. Um, the game. Wait, is it? Now it's full screen. It's not borderless, but it's not restraining the mouse cursor. So the mouse cursor goes like leaves the screen to the left, and I have to be like move it very carefully to the edge to actually um, scroll. Uh, this should be fixed. Um, for people with multi monitors, this is not an acceptable solution. Well, not solution, not an acceptable situation. Hover over unit with your mouse to discover their attributes. Okay, fireable soldier. Oh, you can't see that. Let me ch let me move the camera, shall we? Uh, camera go up there. I hope that's a better spot. So, uh, Farable Soldier level 9. 10 out of 10 hit points, 3 movements, 0 armor. Attack 1 out of T? 1 per one per sword, maybe? Um, counter attack 0 per sword. Max range 1 hangs, uh, hex and re no regeneration. 6 strength. I was an extra in Game of Thrones once. Uh, can you do that? Is that legally allowed to mention it? I guess, I guess you can mention it. I don't know. I'm not a legal expert. Um, anyway, continue. Re beneath each unit, next to the hit points indicator, are their remains, uh, remaining attacks in yellow and the movement in purple. Uh, what? Beneath each unit. Oh, this one. Is that a number or is that just like, is it one? I guess it's one because it's one blob of color? Maybe? I don't know. Not very obvious. A purple hexagon indicates possible movements. Move the unit and click on end of turn. Maybe it's just like, you're still allowed to attack, you're still allowed to move. Potentially. Move the unit and click on the end of turn. Okay, let's move it over there. Can we... Okay, you can... Okay, that's, that's what I wanted to test. I wanted to see if I can like move in multiple steps or I have to, if I have to like do one movement and then it's over. Seems to be the latter. Turn to. Now let's get down to the business, or rather to battle. Move your unit so they are in direct contact with an enemy, then click on the enemy unit to attack. The damage you inflict is equal to the attacking unit strength minus the defending unit's armor. Once you are finished, click on enter. Now this is super, super. Can we directly click on him? No. This is super standard stuff so far. So. Yeah, we have six strength, one armor, means five damage. There we go, and turn. No, space was not in turn. Return was in turn. Okay, you could speed this up if you want to. I guess it makes sense if there are a lot of enemies. Certain units such as crossbowmen use range attacks. Who would have guessed? The maximum range is indicated in the units that shoot and eliminate this orc. Choo! There we go. Wonderful, here is the high priestess. Her magic heals friendly units within a three hexagon radius. Heal your wounded comrades by clicking on the battle heal icon. The icon indicates the numbers of turn you have to wait before using battle heal again. Okay. So we move over here and heal him. And now it's on cooldown. The war heal. Okay. The rage ability increases the movement and damage of the chosen unit. You may only use this skill once per battle. The rage skill. Use the rage ability to no eliminate. Uh, now eliminate this orc. Okay. So we raged. We move over there. 
We have plus one strength and it's enough to kill him. There we go. God damn it, this tutorial is slow. Excellent. The charge ability gives a strength bonus to the horseman when he moves forward by three hexagons in a straight line. Okay. Uh, charge this enemy before attacking. So I move in a straight line and attack. Okay. Got that. I like stuff like that because that usually like that like if your movement somehow um, changes the way you attack, that can create interesting tactical situations. So I like mechanics like that. This is Kemnor, ruler of Farabal, and the character you will be playing in the game. Okay. He possesses the strongest ability in all of Farabal time travel. Click on the turn back time icon and uh, then click on the knight. Uh, okay. Click on the knight. Yep. So it refreshes him, but it doesn't really turn back time because. Well, I guess it turns back time only for him. Like, he still took the damage, but he's back where he was at the beginning of the turn. Um, uh, Unite has to restore his movement and attack capacity, charge once and more. Okay. Congratulations, you have completed the tutorial. Okay, let's hope the campaign is not as boring as the tutorial. Victory. Uh, new campaign. So, as mentioned, the game apparently starts at the end. Since time immemorial, the king and the high priestess of Farabal have been able to alter the passage of time, a power which has been passed down from generation to generation. The king can manipulate the last few moments, while the high priestess controls the hours, the days and the seasons. These magical abilities have granted peace f to Farabal for several centuries. But magic goes his own way and the spark can topple kingdoms. The Black Mountains. There we go, we start at the end. <laughs> 20 days since the war began. Okay, so I guess the war begins there. The first war in centuries is is coming to an end. Kendor and Azuk have no other choice but to face each other. Uh, okay, level 13. Um, start, I guess. So this is the final battle of the game, and also the first, which is <laughs> an interesting idea at least. I wonder if this had any meaningful impact on gameplay. Besides your characters probably getting weaker over the course of the game. There are the orcs. If we don't slack off, the war will be over by tonight. Okay. Uh, but ideally, the priestess should be able to pull off at least one magical spell. Hey, it's been ages since I last used my powers. Give me a moment to find my bearings. <coughs> my lord, please remember that discretion is the better part of Valor. Uh, if you are the high priestess were to perish, the battle and the war would be lost. Okay, you, your turn back time ability may be used in many different ways. For example, it can allow you to double the attack of one of your units. Yeah, okay. Uh, oh, that's the counselor. Okay. So, where are the arcs? Over there. We have to un move all the units? I guess so. So there's a crossbow man. How, how far can they go? Movement too. That's that's not not very far. Uh, he has a crossbow though. Where does it say the range? Six hexes. Okay. So those are all super slow and cannot go very far. So we probably can get the shot on them. Um, one, two, three, four. Okay, let's just move forward for now. Let's see what we can do next turn. Let's try to protect the crossbowmans with the knights. And oh wait, that's an enemy! I didn't realize. Well, let's charge him. Does this count as a straight line? Probably not. Nope. Okay. Oh, he moved already. I don't have enough range to attack up there, obviously. Uh, and I uh, guess we move her up there. Oh, he can almost get in range as well. Well, let's see if we can manage to do that. Rage. I could travel back in time to attack him again, but I don't think that's worth it. So let's end turn. And see what the enemy is doing. Oh, okay, that's silly. You speed up, which makes the enemies move quicker, but um, the the camera is not 
holding up, so I didn't saw what was actually happening there. That's silly. Let's kill this orc, and then move forward. One, two, three, four, okay. Pew! How far can he go? Uh, three movement, six X range. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Okay, he can shoot far. Uh, and they only have, what, two movement? One, two, I uh, can take those. Okay, so let's try to not get in attack range of them. Well, actually, I could charge them. Let's not there, let's not for the moment. Oh, he, he moved already. Uh, as well. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is pretty standard tactical combat game so far. Nothing too interesting. Can we get... Nah, we, oh, he, he's clever. He actually moved out of range slightly. I think I should focus on him. He has 20 HP. So those, those have 18. So he's only a little bit stronger. They even have more armor than him. So he's actually easier to kill probably. He deals way more damage, has range and stuff, so if I can, I should get in his range to kill him. So let's actually, let's go there, because that means he cannot attack the crossbow man. Oh, that's not the crossbow man! Fucking hell. <laughs> I guess I could rewind time. Pew! Oh, I guess we attack him, because we don't get in range. Uh... Oh, that was not enough. If we can kill him, we probably can make a charge here, so that's what I'm trying to do. There we go, charged. Uh, is that a charge? Might be. What was the definition of charge again? Three hexagons. That's three. There we go. Doesn't doesn't have to be aimed at him, actually. Interesting. So Oh he can attack twice. Huh. One strength and move range for the turn. I could let's do that. Oh no. Oh god damn it. If I would would have okay, I didn't know how this works. If I would have done this before his move, I could have got hit on him and attack him twice with like seven damage each, so I could have killed him already. Uh, well, I guess we do it next turn. So let's see. There we go, he's down. Is this the end of the mission? Nope, not yet, okay. Fair enough. Uh, let's move over here. Oh, you have to have line of sight to shoot. That makes sense. Oh, I don't have line of sight on him, apparently. Uh, I could travel back in time. Actually, wait, can I? Yeah, I could. Oh, she has a rage spell as well. Oh, okay. Every friendly unit has been in three hexes. I would heal them. I would heal all of those. They're not. They're not in danger of dying though, so I can wait another turn or so. Not too interesting too far, I have to say. Um, do we do the rage thing? Oh no, we actually moved all the characters already, so... We're not gonna do the rage thing. And turn and see what happens. Oh, more enemies. Well, um... Two of them. That That's, that's not cool. And he has one at HP. That, this is gonna be a little bit tougher. Do we got 
more as well maybe that's better with the dog and a walking stick I'm sure he could have worked something out now might be a good time for a bit of light time travel don't you think I'm working on it try and stay sa save them off for a while we're almost there okay kill Alzug the unseeing okay so this was not Alzug well the game didn't that didn't make that very clear <laughs> um, kind of might be in trouble <laughs> How much damage does he deal? Five, apparently. Let's see how many we can kill. Can we get rid of all of them? Yeah, I think so. And then we can... If you move here there then it's one two three so he's in range and one two three so he's in range as well so I think we heal everyone if we heal here that worked good okay cool um, anyone with moves left nope okay and turn see how it goes so this guy's 100 HP five movement one armor ten strength hmm okay I guess we charge if we can. Uh, he can't. He can't charge either. That sucks. He can charge. Da -da -da, 10 damage. Um, if I cast rage, I can get to the ranged ones though, which might be a good idea. So let's try that. Mm -hmm. So use rage on this guy. Wait. Oh, she raged. Oh, wait. Oh, every unit has its own rage. Oh! Oh, okay. Well then. You rage. Can I make it a charge? No. You rage as well. I uh, can't make it a charge either, unfortunately. Go. He's almost down though, so that's that's a good start. Let's get punching on that guy. They can rage as well, actually. We don't have to though. I'm I'm in range already, so should be fine. Go. Can I get him him in range? Uh, no, because he doesn't have rage, obviously. I could time travel someone though. Ooh. I could time travel him to kill this guy. Let's do that. Oh, it has limited range. Never mind. Um, well, that's not then. Yeah, he's probably going down. Okay, I think we do a charge here and then time travel. Oh, he can't time travel himself. Oh god damn it! Um. Okay. No, no. I. How do I cancel the spell? I just want to select that unit. Ah, oh, god damn it! I wasn't. Hmm. Not sure. That that was dumb, obviously. But. But yeah, I have another attack. Oh, and that will be a charge attack as well. Okay. Cool. Can we get the ranged one? Yeah, we can. Okay, cool. Because the ranged one deals less damage, so it makes sense to attack the the one with only 2 HP left. Wait, do I have another time travel? No, it's on cooldown as well. Okay. Well, that sucks. Ooh. Yeah, let's attack him. Why not? Okay, doesn't seem to be too bad, to be honest. Ouch. 
quite a hit. Oh, she has regeneration, apparently. Uh, I guess we just punch him. I can't click the tile because the hitbox of the enemy is in the way. So let's see if we can take him down when we rage with all the rages available. I could do the math, obvious, but obviously, but can't be bothered right now. No, we can't kill him, but we can get close, so that's enough. Uh, let's use another heal and then turn. Oh, that was not enough. Well, the R, the crossbow man will do the job then. Okay, that was pretty boring, to be honest. Not very interesting. We want to work so close to... Yes, I've... that was not close. Like, that was really easy. Yes, I've worked out the magic formula. Now to cast a spell. If we win, though... Oh. I w that was just my... I, I think... The protagonist was thinking the same as me. I was like, why would we travel back in time when we win the war? But maybe that was an accident somewhat. Okay, now we leveled down. Congratulations on your first victory. Here's the description sheet for your character, uh, Kendor. He has lost. I always read Crandor. Uh, he has lost experience by traveling back in time, and it's up to you to decide which attributes to increase. Good luck. Okay, that that's interesting. That's an interesting twist. You actually have to down level your hero's abilities. That's cool. <laughs> I like that. That's a cool idea. Um. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's really interesting. Um. So. Counterattacks controls the number of counterattacks per turn of your character. A counterattack is an attack that is triggered automatically when an enemy attacks your character. Okay. So. Wait, what? It says attack, but the tooltip says movement. Oh, here it says attacks. Movement is down here, though. Woo? That's weird. Uh, I think the tooltip is just wrong. So, reducing this sounds like those don't seem. They don't seem to be like equals at all. Like having two attacks, like losing an attack is way worse than like losing one damage or something. Wait, 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 wait. Is every point of vitality giving me fifteen points? That can't be true. I was like, th I was thinking if I press down uh, minus one here, I lose 15 hit points, but that would lose me over half of my hit points. So I guess it's 15 in total. 15 is not dividable by six, though. So it might not be linear, I guess. Hard to tell. Let's find out. So that was five. Oh, we actually have to. Yeah, okay. Oh, we can actually. I oh, know we cannot go higher than we started, but we can uh, move them between them. Okay. Uh, so three is the start. Why? Why is it three? That's really weird. So we lose five hit points if we decrease vitality. One one damage, I guess. Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah. I think the vitality is the best bet here. So let's go with that. The forest. Sips, sips, uh, 17 days since the war began. As the numbers start to dwindle in the flood, the disarrayed orc army attempts to flee under the guidance of Azog. Kendo sets out uh, its hot pursuit while the priestess, making much use of her magical powers, tries to return them to the start of the conflict. But why? Why? why, why, why we just won. Why would we go back in time? I don't understand. I, I mean, maybe we prevent the whole war completely or something? Is that the goal? 
It looks like we only reminded by one battle. You do know that time travel gives me terrible memory loss, right? Where are we exactly? Uh, I need to polish my skills. We should be at the point in time where you are following the blind man and you find a sleeping scout in the middle of the forest. <clears throat> Wake up the sleeping soldier. Okay. My lord, this battle takes place at night. Enemy units are hidden behind an obstacle or far away from your troops can't be seen. Okay. Hi. What a strange dream. I was guarding, guarding the passageway when suddenly I spied a uh, horned goblin. A moment later he disappeared. Oh wonderful. On the verge of sounding the alarm I presume. You really do exhaust me. He can't be too far. Keep your eyes peeped. Okay. Okay this is really strange. And I don't like the battle mechanics at all. Like they're super straightforward. Like they're not bad. Don't get me wrong, and there's some interesting like, like interesting combinations and synergies between the skills. But it's just not my kind of game, I guess. Uh, yeah. I don't think I want to play more of it. It looks interesting, though. I don't get why they time travel at all, and they don't seem to explain it either. So, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, and the mouse not being constrained to the, to the screen is a problem as well. Can we scroll? Yeah, we can scroll with the arrow keys or WASD, in fact, so that's good. Anyway, um, yeah, interesting. If you're into that kind of game, it might be, it, it seems it seems uh, like a cool idea, especially leveling down thing is very interesting. But um, yeah, not my, my kind of thing. I'm going to put the link in the description below as usual, so you can check it out for yourself. If you want to, the release will be the 14th of October. I'm TH Pine. Thanks a lot for watching. Have fun and see you next time.